Hey, bookworm! No, not you. You. Ew! This is a silverfish. He likes to munch on starches found in the paper of books. He's just one of many insects that we might call a bookworm. But besides someone who really loves to read, what exactly is a bookworm anyway? And what other pests can be dangerous to artworks at the Met? In the Met's libraries, our staff protect over a million books from bookworms. There are several hundred types of insects we might call bookworms, and they all damage books in different ways. Take book lice. They're drawn to fungus that can grow in books if they get too moist, but they don't eat the paper itself. But books aren't the only thing at risk. Met staff deal with all kinds of hungry pests that might damage artworks in the museum. They see insects, rodents, and even raccoons every once in a while. Termites, for example, thrive in hot and humid climates and like to eat wood. We can identify termite damage by looking for holes in objects, sawdust they leave behind, and not to be crass, but frass. Frass is a scientist's term for insect poop. Termite frass is actually shaped like an octagon. And perhaps our most persistent pests? Moths. After a moth hatches from its egg, it becomes a larva, which is kind of like a very hungry caterpillar. They can cause major damage to clothing and other textiles. In this stage, larvae like to eat animal fibers like wool and silk. Once they've had enough to eat, they make a cocoon. And soon enough, we have a moth on our hands. Adult moths no longer need to eat, but they do lay more eggs, which makes the problem even worse. More eggs mean more moths, which means more damage. So, what is the best way to avoid pest problems? We make the museum a place they don't want to live. That means limiting their access to food, water, and shelter. Surprisingly, we're actually cool with spiders. They don't damage the art and they get rid of other pests. Mm. Don't worry, Met staff have everything under control. Thanks to experts like Michael, the only thing devouring art and books here, you. 